Every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. Are you ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up.
Now to find a way out of here. Fraser, there's a door over here. Might be a way through. Right. Back to it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. so he made his own. I think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. <laughs> it's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. Now we know why. Is that another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor, Lord Shiva. That's Nandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh, at least before he got his elephant head. Could be. <laughs> Might also be Katakeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. Damn it! They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. We need to get up together. I see him. Okay. Done. Let's go. Lock us again. It's a big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bath? Noted. 
Teresa! Over here. Coming. Huh, look there. The Queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the Queen's. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kunnad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. <laughs> Through here. Magnificent. All this grandeur, hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? <laughs> Come on! It's deep enough!
Okay. We're going first, eh? You're welcome. That's our way back in. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Oh, place is started. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? What on earth is this place? <laughs> Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit, I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find Asav. Or until he finds us. See way up? Looking.
Over here, Nadine. Copy that. <laughs> ah, now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. Moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Oh. Maybe it's because the statue's enormous. But I've just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the king cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Mm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. Hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. I've got this one. Jump to the drum. I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Hey. Hey now. Grab onto something. Okay. Steady. Oh. And we're good. Time to see what's up there. Oh. Huh. Running all the way down to the end. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bet. I'll wait here. Sure thing. Huh? 
Ah, there's another crank up ahead. back now. Meeting you here. Yeah, let's see what's up there, shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. <sighs> Listen. Looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not in the right place. Ah, right. Nadine, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Got it. Thank you. Time to do the other side. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. Uh, this thing's heavy. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water. was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Huh. 
Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. So, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. I was going to say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, yeah. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. I, yeah, but if, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. It appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story? <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. Uh, He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Rama? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet!
He's yielding. It's going to fall! Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. All right. Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. <gasps> Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. <sighs> that makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes!
good. No water logs. Go on, Bree. I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> Don't! Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did a soft get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. Nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here.